It's not something that is very well known in Tanzania. So I'd say that the first answer is that I expect to see something new. I'd expect something novel. I'd expect something that has not been done before. But at the same time, like with all good artistic products, it has to be something which is familiar. New but familiar. I think the familiarity with something like this will come from the fact that the, the, the musicians and the people who are putting in the music performances come from a group that is very well known in Tanzania, that has a long history in Tanzania. And somehow they've disappeared. There was a time when Tatu Nani were very well known. And, uh, and um, personally speaking, I haven't heard anything from Tatu Nani for many years. So this is the one thing that I think will be a very exciting thing, is to see the return, if you like, of, of, of this group. When it comes to the actual concept, um, the idea of, 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 of setting this in the world of, of scrap, scrap metal, I think there's an analogy there that can be made with, with Tanzania. Um, I think that there's a, it's a very good sort of image, imagery of something good coming from, from scrap, I think is a very nice one. Um, I like from what I've seen from, from, from Kick and, and his team, the idea of how this is almost like a journey as well, a journey through Tanzanian music. I think that is very, very clever. Um, the fact that the storyline takes us through various parts of Tanzania, various ages of Tanzania, if you like, in which we get a chance to see uh, or to, to, to be a part of this journey where music or, or a special form of music is being discovered or searched out. I think that's going to be a very, very new idea and one which uh, is, is, uh, is worth looking forward to. I think that there's elements of the story which very much remind me of, of, uh, of uh, a German a German uh, story, or a German story of Faust, or as in the UK, uh, people know as Dr. Faustus, is a play written by Marlon, which is a wonderful idea. It's a, it's a, it's a great, uh, it's a great uh, uh, starting point for any story, a story about someone or some people who are prepared to sell their souls, or willing to sell their souls to the devil in order to be able to receive some sort of magical elixir uh, and what price that comes at I think is a fantastic uh, is a fantastic idea and it's one which is quite a universal like opera in, in the Western world is very much an exclusive uh, art form it is not the kind of thing that people you know, you're the man on the streets if you like goes to see it's involved you know people get dressed in, in, uh, in su dinner suits and in wonderful gowns and sit in uh, royal boxes and drink champagne I don't think that is something that, that, that should work or can even work in Tanzania. This is really going to be the kind of performance that actually should draw in people from very ordinary walks of life. I imagine if it's to be a success that he must have it in very public areas, whatever is the most public area in, a, in Bukwa or in Iringa or in Bea, if it's the church, if it's the football stadium, this is where the performance needs to be put on. And I think that once he's able to, to, to pull that off in the, in the grandest of, of settings in terms of style, in, in terms of size, sorry, 
then really he has to put on, or this thing has to put on quite a visual performance. I think you've got to really uh, make sure that a performance uh, is, is put on that will make people's eyes open wide from the very, very, very beginning. Luckily in a place uh, like Tanzania and like, like most of Sub-Saharan Africa, especially in the rural areas, people don't get an opportunity to see a lot of We don't have a great deal of theatre, we don't have a great deal of film, uh, television penetration is not all that deep, it's getting better but it's not all that deep. So the chances for being for being able to give people a visual experience that they have never come across are huge. I certainly can say, I mean I can't see myself saying no to, to, to having some kind of an input. And you know, the artistic community in Tanzania is very it's very small. You know, we know each other, we know the kind of struggle that we all go through, we know how hard it is to find finances, we know how hard it is to find support, we know how hard it is to find even somebody who's prepared to give you a hug and say well done after you've done something very hard and this is why in a performance like this I think you find that there's been lots of people who have come here. I've seen friends of mine who are working in Tanzania as artists, as painters, as sculptors, as poets and you know I've seen a few of them who have been here today and I see them here for other functions at the Soma Book Cafe which is a, a nice venue for this. So I think in terms of being able to support something like this, sure, I'd, I'd support them in one shape or another. Whether it's with some advice, whether it's to write something, an outline, yeah, I'd, I'd be very open to that. First of all, let me explain or let me uh, say that uh, I work in theatre as a director and um, so I put on quite a few shows and the tradition in Tanzania, in Kiswahili, uh, is that most theatre is musical. So uh, there's always a lot of singing in terms of uh, putting a drama together. Um, and, and that can take whatever form, coming out of the, the, the tradition of, uh, in fact, Utenzi, which we use the word Utenzi, which means sung poetry. Um, coming out of the tradition of sung poetry, we always used to sing our poetry and then make a drama around it. So, um, in terms of that expectation, uh, we are quite comfortable with the concept of um, of, uh, of definitely music and drama and opera, maybe I, I'm not sure, maybe that's something uh, s uh, slightly different or uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it, there's a European connotation to, to the word opera, but, uh, but translated into a, a Swahili context, uh, and I think we use the right word, utensi. Uh, then it will be sung poetry, which you know, we had clippings of. So it will be sung poetry that will explain the drama. And, and I think that in that way, um, it, it fits my expectation. What? I'm a, a, a fashion designer who lives in arts, uh, African arts, African fashion, and culture. And to me, this is where I belong. And so I really need something like that, yeah. I think when it comes and when they start, I'll be one of their, um, uh, I would say, I, I don't know, uh, supporter in meaning that I will publicize it, I'll tell to my friends and that. I'll be a, a goer of the, of, the, of the opera, a person who I've never seen before here in Tanzania. True, it's, it's good. It's something that I'm really looking forward to, something for my children, things that we've never seen here.